Hi guys, Russell from Home Brew Republic. Welcome to a two minute brew review. Today we're checking out the Mangrove Jacks Craft Series Kivik IPA. We're gonna check out the finished product, we're gonna check out the kit, and last of all, we're gonna check out any special instructions and any other ingredients you're gonna to need to get this brew fermenting. Here we are guys, this is the finished product that we're making with the Mangrove Jacks Craft Series Kivik IPA. As you can see, pours really, really nicely. What we get is a nice white head, it's solid, it's firm. In terms of colour, for me it's around about uh, 9 to 11 on an SRM colour chart. We definitely have those really, really nice gold tones coming through, but it's got this really rich depth to the colour um, and definitely some hints of amber coming through. For our aroma, this brew is all about the citrus. There are those tropical notes on the back very subtly, we'll talk about those more in a second which perfectly sets the scene for our flavour profile. Really good. Okay, we lead with the citrus. This is a really, really strong citrus profile. So if you're going to do this brew, make sure that's what you're looking for. What I found is if you let this warm up a little bit, so don't drink it cold straight out of the fridge, the tropical notes that are there become a lot more noticeable and a lot easier to pick up inside the brew. We do have a really, really good level of bitterness, possibly a little bit stronger than normal, but we need that with this brew to balance out the citrus and not get lost. But what it does do, it leaves this really, really nice citrusy tang in the mouth after you finish your sip. And all in all, a great brew. Like I said, this is a really, really strong citrus profile, so make sure that's what you like, make sure that's what you're looking for before you get this brew. This is the kit, guys. It's from the Mangrove Jacks Craft Series range, which I'm increasingly a big fan of. First of all, we're using a premium malt. Number two, the pouch is filled using a cold-filled nitrogen process rather than the traditional warmed can process. And if I listen to Mangrove Jacks, what they claim is that the characteristics in terms of flavor and in terms of aroma are going to be better protected from our premium malt, which means we're going to get a better finished product. So what we have is a wet side, which has our premium malt, which smells really awesome. Included in the dry side is the brewing instructions, two packets of the M12 Kivik yeast, and our dry hops, which was 50 grams of Amarillo and Citra. The only other ingredient you'll need to get this brew on is either 1 kg of dextrose or 1.2 kgs of liquid malt extract. I always prefer liquid malt extract over dextrose because it gives a smoother finish and a nicer mouthfeel with a little bit more body. The only special instruction I'm going to call out is the fermentation temperature range. These are the instructions contained in the kit. They are a generic set of instructions that are used across all of the craft series kits. And what they call for is a fermentation temperature range of 20 to 25 degrees. Knowing the yeast, the yeast has an ideal or a suitable fermentation temperature range of 20 to 40 degrees and an ideal range of 30 to 40 degrees. So you've got a lot of flexibility here. You can stick with the instructions, which will be at the lower end of the suitable range. Or if you're fermenting in summer or a hotter environment, you'll be perfectly fine fermenting at a hotter range of up to 40 degrees Celsius. Cheers! Cheers.